Okay, so let's solve this problem. Suppose the fifth term in the geometric sequence is 25 and the ninth term is 400. Find the seventh term and the common ratio. So first, we need to find the common ratio using this formula. Then in the given, we have this fifth term that's a sub 5. And the fifth term is 25, so a sub 5 is 25. And also the ninth term, that's a sub 9. And the ninth term is 400, so a sub 9, that's 400. Then from this given two terms, so therefore the last term is a sub 9. So a sub 9 is a sub n. And this a sub 5, that's a sub m. So to find now the common ratio from this formula, so we have this a sub n and a sub n, that's 400, then equals a sub m, so a sub m, that's 25, then times r to the power n, since a sub n equals a sub 9, so therefore n is equal to 9. Then minus m, since a sub m equals a sub 5, so m is equal to 5. Then simplify, so divide both sides by 25, so cancel. So 400 divided by 25, this one is 16, then r, so we have 9 minus 5, that's 4, so r to the power 4. Then to solve for r, since the exponent of r is 4, so we need to take the fourth root on both sides, so cancel, so therefore r is equal to this fourth root of 16, that's 2. So the common ratio is equal to 2. Then to find the seventh term, that's a sub 7. So if we're going to use these two terms, so therefore, this a sub 7 is the last term. Then from this formula to solve for the uh, a sub 7 or the last term, so a sub n, that's a sub 7, so we have this a sub 7 equals a sub m, that's 25. Then times r, r is 2, 10 to the power n, since a sub n is equal to a sub 7, so therefore n is equal to 7. Then minus m, so m is equal to 5. Then simplify, so we have a sub 7 equals 25 times 2, 7 minus 5, that's to the power 2. So a sub 7 equals 25. 10 times 2 to the power 2, that's 4. So therefore, the 7 term, so 25 times 4, that's 100. So the 7 term is 100.